Okay, so what we have here today, today we have the uh, Tower Hobbies Ryan STA. Um, I got this right before Christmas as a, uh, they were on sale. I thought they were a cool looking plane. I've always liked the movie Rocketeer, you can see it in there. Um, so just a quick review on the model. I'm gonna put the maiden flight on it. Flew fantastic. Um, I think I did a decent job gluing all the hinges, so everything held up. Did two flights on it with a 3300, um, 3300 milliamp uh, 4S battery, 40C, and it flew fantastic. Um, quick, quick specs on what I used on the plane. Um, I used some high-tech servos. I used the Avion brushes, 60 amp BSC, a Marine 4S on it. Um, and then I used the recommended motor, the 4250 800 KV that um, uh, Tower Hobbies recommends on the plane plane flew fantastic uh no bad tendencies it ground handling is very good took off just fine barely did any trim um i can't be happy with the model the model is fantastic didn't take me long to build it took me about three days it is a little bit different than models i've been used to i've built a few hangar nines now and, and phoenix model and uh, this one was a, a tad bit different uh i did have to glue the wing halves together there's a couple other things um all in all it took me about three days. I wasn't. I had some time off, and uh, about three days letting everything glue. I mean, dry and coming back. But overall, it was a fairly easy build. It came together pretty easy. These were a little bit more trying, the wheel pans and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty easy. This was a little different because it is a magnet type with a um, a latch up on the top. But other overall. Uh, fairly easy build. I, I find the colors on the model look beautiful. If you look under here, see that checkered flag? That's just really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, other than that, just your uh, normal, you know, um, ARF. Nothing really out of the ordinary to put together. Uh, just take your time. If you, if you decide to get one like this, just take your time gluing these uh, wing halves together. And going through it, oh, the covering. The covering looks really nice. I, I had to go over it a little bit, but I'm also in Arizona, so it's a little bit hot. Weather's a little bit weird. Um, but overall, um, it came out of the box looking perfect. It just sitting in the garage and stuff, it kind of bubbled up a little bit. But I just hit, went over it with a little heat gun, um, light heat, and uh, fixed it right up. Um, but yeah, the construction on it is great. Everything is good. It feels sturdy. It is extremely stable on the ground. And as you'll see in the flight, I'm not using a, a stabilizer. I'm just using a five channel spectrum receiver on it. Um, and it does fantastic. So stay tuned for the flight. This is, uh, the flight review. You'll see how she comes in and lands easy. Flies great. Only needed two clicks of trim. Um, highly recommend the model. It flies awesome okay so anyways lg hobby life out Ryan, you got hey. to go up to, uh, for all that work let's get flying Get it up there. There it goes. Hey, we'll find out now if I glued everything right or not. Oh. <laughs> so, the question that's on everybody's mind. Did you double check your hinges? right <laughs> Good. What motor did you end up putting in there in ESC? Uh, it's an Avion. I had a 60 amp ESC later on at the house. Okay. Um, I got a raffle on the back of my old field. And then I, I found one on, uh, on eBay of uh, Avion uh, 4250. Yeah. 800 KV. Okay. I noticed your phone. I got to keep the horizon 
in uh, view or else it'll get blurry. Oh, man. You know what? That's on high rates. It needs a little bit more. Needs more throw? Yeah. I knew well, it, it should be a little whippersnapper, you know? Yeah, it's supposed to be a little more support. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, that's full throttle right there. Not bad. Full throttle right there. Like I said, I'm out of 3,300. And what size battery you got in there? 3,300 Forest. A Forest 3,300. Okay, I want to make sure I mark that with a marker here because that is perfect, perfect. Yeah, All right. <laughs> Jeremy got some 5S batteries. You think you got enough leftover wattage? Throw a 5S in there? Oh, dude. Should bring in the 5S out here. See what that thing will do. Um, you're at two minutes forty three seconds on the recorder. Okay. I mean, I'll let you know when you hit four. There you go. Whoa. You get a little too comfortable. Uh huh. The cojones on this guy. <laughs> the money shot. You're at 345 right now. Yeah, I'm gonna bring her in just because I don't know where this battery's gonna be. Well, then you can judge off of it once you land it, you know? Yeah, it's a maiden flight, so I don't wanna like risk anything. That's just pretty dope. Four minutes. Landing! I'm coming. Oh, she, she settles in real good. I gotta keep that half power there. It's a little classic. Right here. There it is. So what do you think there, bud? Hey man. It's a good one. <laughs> It only needed like a little bit of trim. I guess I must have. I, you noticed you trimmed it like almost like right out. Yeah, it was, it was pretty perfect. Your first down leg, you're already flying it like normal. And the hinge is held up. I mean, I didn't know if I used enough room. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you could teach somebody that kind of stuff. <laughs> Should make a video. <laughs> yeah, it grew up nice though. Hey, Ryan, STA.